Alrighty, what is going on guys? Making another day vlog. I had taken a break there for hmm, about a week or something like that. I had so much content recorded for Instagram and, and even YouTube and YouTube is picking up so damn slow for me. I guess y'all aren't, aren't really rocking with me on YouTube like that, but that's okay. If I were to just stop and quit at the sign at the first sign of somebody not liking what I did or judging me or I wouldn't be where I am. I would just fucking always give up and quit and listen to everybody else and just not have been able to travel around the country pretty much the way that I did, hang out with baddies and doing all the things that I've done. So, you know, I worked hard to get to this place in my life and it's become who I am and it's become natural and we can only, can't even, I don't even know <laughs> what it's going to evolve into or what's on the horizon, but I am going to go to No Limits Gym and um, I am going to do quads and and yes, that is a picture right there of me. It's a high school senior picture of me. But uh, quads and booty. So not much in store for the day really, but if I have anything else going on, whether it be a walk or go see a friend or something, I'll try to put it on film. Not a really whole lot of fun action going on here in um, Rochester, guys. It's getting cold. It's not the south. There's nothing fun and creative going on here except for what I'm building and putting here. <laughs> uh, and for the other people who are my clients, whatever. But, um, yeah. All right, guys. I'll stop rambling. Uh, next stop, we'll be at the gym. Okay guys, so I am here at No Limits, and I am about to get some quads and glutes in. <sighs> Might do a little upper body, I'm not sure, but let's get to it. So I just recently, sorry about that. I just recently learned how to do uh, squats on Smith machines. I've never been able to do squats because of resting the barbell on my back. Uh, bad car accident. I had gotten in in 2011 when I was 20 years old, 21. Uh, crashed into a telephone pole. I had drunk a bunch of wine. I was fucked up on Xanax. <laughs> yeah, I was a bad dude back in the day. And I fell asleep at the wheel, hit a telephone pole, got... Uh, Mercy flighted to the hospital by a helicopter and everything so uh, that actually is what led to me using painkillers and being a drug addict so by getting into fitness it helped combat that pain but the biggest thing is with squats and certain movements I couldn't rest that bar on my back so I've only been recently just trying it and uh, we're getting good at it so take a look guys so I am all finished up here at uh, No Limits Gym. Isn't the front of this really cool? It's got vines on it, the upper window in the building right there and it's just on this private little dead-end street. See that's the dead end right there. It's pretty cool man like you know having been all around the country and going to different gyms and you know they're most they're the most lit in Texas and Florida by far for out of anybody anywhere I've been. So to have a gym like this here, you know, you got to find um, 
places in the north and Midwest and Pacific Northwest, places that aren't in a warmer climate year round, uh, it's harder to find more specialized equipment and businesses and items. It's not just gyms, it's, <clears throat> it's anything. So I had an amazing leg session. I did a little upper body stuff and I even went into the posing room and did a little posing. I didn't take my shirt off or my clothes off because I'm not complete with my physique in that area, but my arms and my legs are looking great and I'm feeling great. So I'm gonna go back home, shower, clean up, definitely go for at least a walk and uh we'll see what else what is going on guys i was chilling at home for a while resting i am uh pretty low on calories right now uh i do eat some carbs in the morning and maybe a little in the afternoon but for the most part i am not eating much and uh in the next two three weeks here i'm gonna dial it down even more because basically if I eat, a, like, basically I love those bagel sandwiches from that Ruger's place that I go to. And if I eat, some, I don't eat those every day, but if I were to or eat too much of it, it's just little things like that that could prevent me from losing a pound maybe, say, over a couple weeks. So you just got to really cut out necessary things where possible. But I try to eat stuff like that on days where I know I'm going to train heavy. And definitely get like 15k plus steps it seems like when I get 10k steps ish is where I maintain anything above that like 15k to 20k on top of an hour hour and a half workout is where and then obviously I'm eating like 2,000 cows a day maintenance for me is 2200 21 so maintenance and some days I'm definitely burning all of that off some days I might not be but I just, I used to have a protocol I did way back in the day where I, <laughs> I used to be so much more um, uh, disciplined when it came to my diet. And it's been harder to get back into that routine ever since um, uh, I went through all that nonsense of moving, relapsing on drugs. Man, just a lot of setbacks. So that's why I'm on my groove right now and I'm not stopping. So it's a really short video on this uh it was just me working out and me walking around my neighborhood here. I didn't really do much else, so there was nothing else to record. Short and sweet. Hope you guys liked it. Please subscribe to the channel. And I can't wait to show you guys the rest of my evolution.